Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So we pick back up exactly where we left the last time, at the end of my guide for the Soviet Union, in which we were able to absolutely dominate World War II. We defeated the Axis, we annexed or puppeted most of Europe as early as the 7th of July 1940 with minimal casualties and now we are ready to continue our run. Now, of course, if you did not watch uh, the main guide, make sure to do so. I will include the, the link up here. I will also include it in the description of the video so you can see exactly how we got uh, to this point. So what's next? Uh, first of all, I would like to take Romania. I wanted to take it while fighting the Axis and they are part of the Axis, but somehow nobody called them into the war against us uh, and so I was not able to take them in the peace conference. So we're going to take Romania, and then of course uh, we are going to take uh, the Allies. So we're going to defeat France and the UK. We're going to try to do so before uh, the United States uh, join them. But then, uh, if we are fast enough with the Allies, uh, in this same video I will also try to include uh, uh, the conquest of the United States. Uh, so that we assert complete dominance uh, over the world uh, with our Soviet Union. And of course with our Soviet Italy, which is uh, a desert in the middle of uh, North Africa. Now, where do we start from? We start from France. I'm going to start uh, justifying a, a war goal on uh, France uh, right away. It only takes uh, 30 days. And uh, while we get ready for the war goal, we have a couple of things to do. First of all, we are next uh, Germany because we already have the compliance required to create a collaboration government. We are going to do it uh, right away. So now all of Europe uh, looks like our puppet. I prefer to have uh, puppets uh, and even better, if possible, collaboration governments rather than directly annexing the land. In this way we get uh, most of the resources and we don't pay any price in terms of uh, manpower of garrisons. Now, uh, to attack France we are going to go from the Netherlands, which is already our puppet, and we are going to go through Belgium. But for that uh, we need Belgium to join the war. We also need to reorganize our armies a little bit. But I will spare these for you in the edited version, so... Next, uh, you will see the armies in uh, the final asset to invade France. So now I'm also building infrastructures and uh, air bases uh, in the Netherlands. We're going to need them, uh, well, against France, but then especially against the United Kingdom. Other than that, I sent my amazing tanks. Uh, by the way, I will show you briefly the design, which is uh, this one. We are using this uh, really, really good single player design for tanks. And I will also show you briefly the template. This is the final template that we are going to use with tanks. Actually, I will change whenever we have enough logistics company to rocket artillery to increase even further the already very, very good soft attack. In any case, these tanks will do most of the job for us. They will push from here and then I'm sending motorized behind them and a defensive army behind them to cover their back. Meanwhile, we are preparing collaboration governments uh, in the United States, uh, getting ready for later already. Oh, I can get the claim on uh, Romania pretty fast, uh, despite the fact that I'm already making one on France. Interesting. I think I will get one on Romania too then. You know what we need? Uh, we need another army of uh, motorized for our tanks, uh, for, our secondary, for our secondary tank division. I assigned all of my planes to the same airport uh, and that's uh, not great, uh, but we want them to split around uh, automatically, so I cannot be bothered with that. Uh. So by sending them all here and assigning them to my main army, they will split around uh, evenly as soon as the war starts. Oh, by the way, I wanted to show you something. I always mention it uh, in, the, in the description of my videos, uh, but if you become a member to the channel, um, of course, that's uh, entirely up to you. Uh, it helps the channel a lot, but it's not something you absolutely have to do, of course. And everything you need to succeed in following my guides, uh, my videos, uh, is in the videos or the description themselves. But in addition to that, I also make these spreadsheets, uh, which I share with the members of the channel. Let me see if I can show you briefly uh, what that looks like. Okay, that's it. So uh, you should be able to see it now. Basically, whenever I make a guide, I also make these spreadsheets, which have the uh, list of focuses. Uh, well, these are the researches, uh, the focuses, uh, and then uh, and these are also shared uh, on the in the description of the video. Although I make them as a checklist here, so it's a bit easier to to follow what I'm doing whenever 
you click one, you, you research one, you click it and consider it done. Uh, but I also include a list of the decisions, the most important things uh, that I'm doing while following my guide. This is what I use when I remake my guides uh, to remember what I was doing the last time. It's uh, several pages uh, split uh, into, uh, well, which part of the game we are at. And uh, I think they are pretty convenient. Again, not mandatory, but I think it's the best I can offer for now to people who are willing to support the channel. Uh, that's all. We can go back to the game. Okay, we got our claim on France. And I think there is really no reason to wait. Or maybe we can wait for this guy to be fully trained. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Okay, here we go. Everybody's ready. So let's go. Declare war to France. We start officially our war against the Allies. And then we need France to call uh, Belgium. We also need actually to call the Netherlands into this war. They have a lot of divisions in here, so the first push will be hard. Uh, we need the air superiority and we will get it uh, as soon as our planes uh, start uh, redeploying around, uh, which hopefully will be soon. But we are doing it uh, even without planes uh, because our tanks are too strong. This is quite impressive. And despite the red numbers, we are doing it with very, very low casualties. That's because, of course, we are pushing mainly with tanks. It's better already. Okay, Belgium is down. And we got the improved artillery. Now, this means that we can design the new tanks. Now, for my improved medium tank design, I like to use uh, this design here. Uh, the last model, however, is entirely optional. You don't really need armor, and it does increase the production cost. Uh, I find it to be still good. The production cost is entirely acceptable. And I like the extra armor to reduce uh, even further the casualties. Uh, but I wouldn't go higher than this. Uh, this is plenty. And if you want to save some points, uh, you can uh, skip on this one. You can use a different module. If you have it, you can use the easy maintenance module. If not, uh, you can even add uh, another machine gun to increase even further the soft attack. So entirely up to you for the last module. It would be very nice if you could get uh, an encirclement here. Oh, uh, I think we did kill the units which were in there. Okay, now let's reorganize slightly. And then we go for Paris and we easily get rid of France. Let's see how we're doing in terms of uh, air superiority. Okay, much better. So I guess it was a good idea to send them away at first and then send them back. And uh, look at the amazing stats. Uh, these stats will get even better. We still have some old designs in here. But as uh, our F2 take over, you will see some crazy stats uh, in terms of, uh, of planes. Now, we got our claim on uh, Romania. And I want to declare war to Romania right away. So we are going to do that. We are not going to attack Romania for now. We are going to wait. I will use uh, the tanks for that. Let's wait until we get our organization back and then we're pushing France, but also we are going to claim uh, Spain at this point. And uh, we got uh, the planning bonus, we got the organization, so let's go with our offensive against France. A difficult first push, but not that difficult after all because our tanks are insanely good. I would like to encircle these guys, uh, let's see. They have a lot of divisions in there. Ah, I couldn't get the encirclement. We are going to destroy France very soon though. Let's see the casualties. 9k versus 170k. That seems fair enough. But we did get a small encirclement at least in Paris. Okay, now France should definitely go down. And France is gone. France is never a great challenge to defeat. And that's it. We got France uh, and at the same exact time we also got uh, rocket artillery. I want to start producing rocket artillery right away. We are going to add it uh, to our tank uh, templates uh, a bit later. By building in our puppets uh, we can also decrease their autonomy and get more resources from them. So it's pretty convenient. Okay now, invasion of the UK. Now we're going to do something bad, which is uh, we're going to invade with our tanks, uh, because I don't care. Uh, you shouldn't invade with tanks, uh, you should invade with infantry, or even better, with marines. But uh, I still invade with tanks. 
because uh, we can. So for the invasion of the UK, we go for something like this. Uh, and as long as we can disembark anywhere in here, our tanks are going to quickly take the other regions. Uh, and the invasion is going to be extremely easy. Meanwhile, however, we want to destroy as many enemy planes as possible. So let's pick our fighters and send them into the channel to destroy enemy planes. And I want to see some, uh, some crazy stats in here. Let's see these ones, first of all. These ones are already pre already pretty good, uh, but I expect uh, even better than these uh, later on. But still, pretty good stats. Oh, they are attempting an evil invasion. That's interesting. I feel like they must have a lot of divisions in here. Okay, not anymore. Let's see the casualties of the UK. 67,000, not that many for now. Okay, our naval invasion is uh, ready, uh, but we need to send uh, the fleet. Uh, let's see, meanwhile, how we're doing in terms of planes in the channel. See here, they have all of their planes, uh, and we are still destroying them completely. Oh, we don't have the naval superiority. That's interesting. That's unexpected. So we're going to wait a little bit here. Are they really going to invade me here? I hope not, because I don't want to send divisions up there. Okay, now we get the green sea. Perfect. Uh, see, sometimes you just need to be a little patient. Uh, this is the same tactic that I use with Italy or Germany when I need to invade the UK. If it's really, really bad, uh, if you don't get the green sea, you can go from up here. But usually you get the green sea at some point. Okay, we can start the invasion. Let's go. As I said, tanks are not the best, uh, of course, uh, for naval invasion. But as long as we disembark with one of them, I think we are going to do it here. That's going to be fine, and then uh, we are going to get the other ones too. Yeah, see, we got these ones, uh, and now this is only a formality. Then we want to send uh, all of our divisions over as fast as possible before uh, the Royal Navy intercepts us. We would like to avoid fighting the Royal Navy if possible. So let's send everybody over. As soon as we get everybody over, we are going to stop uh, supporting the naval invasion. Okay, they did get our fleet, uh, but that's too late. We already moved uh, the entire fleet over. And we can already start pushing with them. Uh, I don't think they caught uh, our troops uh, moving. Yes, our casualties are still incredibly low. We aim to keep them low until the end of the war, if possible. We also have one advisor still available from before. And I don't think we need this guy, so we may use uh, this guy actually for some extra political power. Not that bad. Okay, let's start pushing in the UK. They have quite a lot of divisions for their standard, to be honest. But definitely not enough to stop our amazing tanks. London is down already. A very smooth invasion of the UK so far. It keeps saying that they are preparing a naval invasion of Italy, but Italy is not in this war, so... I don't know why are they planning a naval invasion of Italy. Let's see, should we aim to less than 20k uh, casualties? I, I'd say we can definitely do that. Uh, but I would really like... Oh, interesting. Japan declared war on Yugoslavia. So we want less than 20,000 casualties at the end of this war. Very easy, we just need to win, end uh, the war faster. Because most of our casualties are not from, from actual fighting, but more from uh, convoy raiding. So, I don't want to waste my uh, navy. Uh, and so we need to win, uh, to win the war faster, because gradually our casualties are increasing. Smyrna. I use uh, the Staff Office plan a lot uh, in these situations, because it allows me to start uh, the offensives faster and with full, uh, full planning. Let's go. Oh, look at this. Uh, look at the skies. Uh, all green. Uh, now, let's check some stats. Uh, wow. Okay. This, uh, you know, this is what I'm talking about. Uh, this is mostly with why, with our F2 fighters, but I'm pretty sure we still have some uh, F1 in here. I don't know if we can see it. In any case, uh, uh, crazy good stats. Uh, uh, pretty good stats uh, in here as well. Now, I was checking some comments uh, saying that these tanks are not good. Uh, because they don't have any hard attack, which is true, they don't have hard attack. But you don't really need hard attack, because uh, actually we are not fighting tanks. Even these um, 
British division which looks like uh, it has tanks uh, it doesn't have tanks in it it's probably a couple of medium tanks uh, maybe three medium tanks one light tank it's not really an armored division and uh, the proof of that uh, is that we are actually pushing them despite uh, their tanks Okay, I want to be careful here because before the end of the war, which is very soon, I want to show you the final stats in our war against the allies. Get some more stats by killing all of these divisions. Quite a lot of them, to be honest. Will it be enough? It may be enough. Let's see. No, okay, we need to push uh, Newcastle, probably. Let's say that these are the final stats. So we finished uh, the war against the allies uh, with 15,000 casualties. Uh, we caused uh, 350,000 to the United Kingdom and 250, let's say, to Free France. Uh, I would say pretty good stats in there. And then, of course, our planes completely dominated uh, in the skies uh, everywhere we use them with uh, crazy good stats. Okay, we are ready to end uh, the allies, so let's do it. Okay, and this should be an easy peace conference because we are the only ones in it. We take everything, we puppet everything. I will not show you the peace conference, but I'm going to puppet everything, take the navy, resource rights, war reparations for all of them. I'll see you at the end of this peace conference. Okay, so now let's check the resources. Okay, so no more resources needed from anyone. And also we got uh, the strongest navy ever by joining our pretty good navy already with the French one and the Royal Navy. So I don't think we'll have any issues uh, invading the United States later. By the way, we need to start preparing for the invasion of the United States. That's quite important. I usually go for the invasion of uh, Florida first. Uh, so we want to create uh, some infrastructures, uh, supply hubs. Naval bases and air bases in here. What's this? The Bahamas. And uh, we want that to be the highest priority. Let me make sure that everything is fine with our collaboration governments. We're about to finish one. And while we wait for Spain, which will take uh, a little longer, I think we can take care very quickly of uh, Romania. I'm going to do it uh, with our usual tanks. We start from down here and then we go straight for uh, Bucharest. Meanwhile, however, I will start preparing my army for the invasion of Spain. In this case, I want not to call France. I prefer not to call France. And so we are going to go for a naval invasion from here to the area of uh, Valencia. Okay, we prepare the naval invasion of Spain in the area of uh, Valencia. Once again, we are going with tanks. So it's better to do it with infantry. Why do I do it with tanks? Uh, because I can, but also because I'd like to have my tanks there as soon as we disembark uh, so that I can use them to expand very quickly. You know, I like the uh, auto assignment uh, of uh, planes to the armies, uh, but it would be great if they followed them around not only during the offensive, uh, but before, because right now our planes are all in, in the UK and they are assigned to our army here. But it will take them a while to arrive here and deploy in the right places when we start the offensive. I would need them right away. And I can do it manually, but it's annoying. So this uh, assigning them to the armies is great. I love it. But I wish they could uh, constantly follow them around. Anyways, let's go. Yeah, it looks like we don't need planes <laughs> completely destroying them. Now, this is speed 4. But uh, still, that's pretty crazy. And uh, I wonder if we have enough rocket artillery. I think possibly yes. Let's see if we can uh, switch uh, the logistics company to support rocket artillery. At this point, uh, the gain in soft attack is pretty massive. Uh, let's see exactly how massive. It's already like 30 extra soft attack and it will increase uh, as we improve uh, the technology for rocket artillery the supply user also increases but that's okay okay uh, i think we can end uh, romania quite fast here casualties against romania Ooh, less than 1000 wow and <laughs> 214,000. that's pretty bad by the way now i need to justify on the united states okay we don't have we don't have any discounts but that's fine i feel like romania didn't even get to use their divisions 
most of them are in here and they are more or less fine but still ah 1000 said i wanted to stay under 1000 but 251 pretty good trade and i think the war against romania is over we're just going to pop at them Okay, we didn't really need Romania, but I just wanted them from the last video. I was annoyed that I couldn't get them in the last video. Okay, now we can take care of uh, Spain. Of course, uh, that's going to be easy as well. Let's do it. I'll slow down the speed a bit here. Very easy, disembarking here. I don't think they have divisions in here. Oh, Madrid is already taken. Of course, this isn't uh, much of a challenge. I hope the United States will prove uh, a bit more challenging. Although it's fairly early because we were able to win the war so fast. And uh, since we defeated the Axis and the Allies already, it's actually quite early. The United States may not be prepared at this time of the game. We'll see. Yeah, I think I'm not going to micromanage this war in uh, Spain. I will just let them randomly push. Oh, non-aggression pact with Japan. Uh, depends if you want, uh, if you guys want me to fight Japan or not. Uh, let's say we don't get it. Just in case uh, we we want to fight them later. They really should give up. Because this is pretty bad. <laughs> 1,000 to half a million. Oh, really? All the way to La Coruña. Spain is quite impressive in... Uh, Surrendering. What do we need to get? 20%? Um, what do you mean 20%? How do they still have 20%? In any case, 1,000 to half a million. That's the end of Spain. Done! Okay, now let's pop at Spain too. Take the navy, not that we need it, but... Spain is done as well. Now, I think we were pretty fast so far. Yeah, so we can definitely go for the for the United States in this uh, in this episode, uh, and that means probably ending the run uh, with the Soviet Union again. Unless uh, you want me to go for Japan, you want me to go for one more episode. I really wish there was a way to disable the special forces doctrines from uh, giving you a notification in here. It's really annoying. I will just pick them just because I don't want it uh, to tell me that I have doctrines available. Uh, you know what else uh, we're going to do? We're also going to build some um, air bases in um, in Canada. They can be helpful too. Okay, now we're going to use our tanks as usual. To send them here, I'm going to use, uh, first of all, a, an area defense command. And then we're going to adjust it later. Of course, here we are going to die of attrition. Uh, it doesn't matter. Sending divisions too early means they will die of attrition, but sending them later means they will uh, possibly be intercepted by the American Navy. So, in my opinion, it's better to send them earlier. I'm really curious to see if the United States can put up a challenge or not. Also, let's start planning the naval invasion itself with them. You know the drill. We invade with tanks and we try to get a harbor as fast as possible. In this case, uh, the naval invasion is very close uh, to Florida, and that's why I like starting from the Bahamas. Uh, we usually get Florida very fast. Oh, Japan uh, preceded us. Uh, true. Uh, okay, so I guess Japan will uh, will start the war before us. Uh, hopefully we can take most of the war score, if not all of the war score. But we need to be fast. We got the claim, last challenge of this run, most likely, the United States. Let's see how challenging they are this early into the game. Let's start our naval invasion. Uh, the organization is not great, uh, as long as we can disembark it's fine. And we can disembark, okay, that's good. Okay, looks like they don't have divisions in here. Okay, let's send uh, more of our divisions in here before they all die of attrition, of course. Okay, very smooth uh, so far. Very happy with this. Okay, let's uh, rearrange our divisions. Uh, but uh, the first push and the naval invasion went very well. Okay, I have two different ways of uh, managing the invasion of the United States. One uh, is to go along the east coast uh, in, on here. We advance uh, to Washington, Philadelphia, New York, Boston, uh, the most important cities. The other one is to go for New Orleans, Atlanta, and then we cut them off uh, completely by going up here. We got Detroit, uh, Chicago, Cleveland, 
and then we kill all of the divisions that they have in here. It's like a massively big encirclement. Uh, yeah, let's split them into into half. So let's go for Atlanta next. So let's say we take, we follow the railway, we take uh, this stuff uh, here, and we stop along this river. And now we're also going to send our secondary army of tanks uh, with the goal of uh, advancing on this side instead. Uh, we go straight for New Orleans. Oh my god, this stuff is so annoying. I hate MIOs. I hate this stupid update. Uh, let me know in the comments, guys, what you really think about Arms Against Tyranny. Because the first two runs, uh, this was annoying uh, already. And now this is extremely annoying. If you want my opinion. Okay, I cannot get this. What do you want from me? Sure, give me reliability. Okay, let's go for uh, let's go for Atlanta. Wait, where where is the American army? Do they have an army? Where is their army? They well, they should have some divisions. These are no divisions. These are like four divisions. Where are their divisions? Where is my challenge? Where is my last challenge of the Soviet Union? This is so anticlimactic for a. Uh, uh, Soviet Union versus United States run. Okay, from up here we go all the way to uh, Chicago and, and destroy it. Now this strategy works uh, and it's what I usually use. Uh, uh, wait, let me rearrange them. Though. Even uh, when they actually have divisions. Uh, in this case, uh, they don't have divisions for some reason, which is unknown to me. Casualties, meanwhile, yeah, 20,000. 20,000 casualties is definitely not because of fighting. So it must be because of convoy raiding. Where are they raiding my convoys? Uh, here? Oh uh, yeah, here. God damn it. Okay, we, we have enough supplies, let's go. And they can also go as soon as they are done. Wow, they don't have divisions. Uh, why? What ha what happened to the United States? Where are their divisions? So they, sh they should have some. Here? Do, they, do you have all, the, all of them here? I hope not. Oh, wait a second. I guess uh, Japan answered our question for us uh, on whether we should uh, declare war to Japan or not. Uh, okay, they did it for us. Uh, fine. Shouldn't be too much of an issue. Ah, uh, right, France. Yeah, because they want to take this stuff. I see, I see. Okay, uh, then uh, after, the, after the United States, we go for Japan. Which means we should start preparing some... Uh, Infrastructures in here, probably. Random supply hubs. Uh, random na naval bases. Uh, and random railways to connect them. Okay, now we need to make sure that they cannot push me here, though. Because that would be annoying. Uh, they shouldn't be able to. But maybe we should send uh, another de defensive army here, just in case. I really wonder where the American troops are, because uh, apparently they are not in America. How much more do we need for the United States? Quite, quite a lot. And we finished our second collaboration government. Okay, we're not going to get a third one. This is one of the worst pushes I've ever done. But it is also one of the worst United States I've ever fought. They don't have divisions, I cannot even... Uh, like Spain had a lot more divisions. What the hell? They didn't even defend the capital. I, I don't understand. I know the United States are not very good uh, early in the game, but this is not that early in the game anymore. And also, okay, not being very good, but this is very bad. What do we push here? There isn't much to push on this side of the United States, but I guess we go for anything which can give us a war score. Yeah, they have five divisions. Quite a lot. Can we finish the war with Boston? Probably yes, right? No. But they don't have anything anymore. Ooh, we lost Vladivostok. That's painful. That's very painful. Can we get it back. Yes. Okay. That was uh, easier than expected. Okay, I don't think they have even one victory point in here, so... Where do we get the victory points that we still lock for the United States? Houston, sounds like a good one. Get it, please. 
Oh, th they have some divisions in here. That's amazing. See, when you have divisions, you can stop me, guys. That's impressive. Okay, but... Uh, not impressive enough. The most disappointing United States uh, ever. Let's see if Japan uh, will be more challenging then. I would say we just uh, focus on puppeting the United States. Uh, we leave the Philippines to Japan and then we take them from Japan later on. United States done. Now Japan. How do we go to Japan? From where? From Vladivostok. That's the only obvious choice. Yeah, we even have decent amount of supplies in here. The only problem is going there. We go from the United States. They will probably catch my fleet and destroy my division. So we need to go from, uh, from uh, the other way. Which means we first need to send all of the divisions back here and then all of them back to Japan. Okay. Let's just do that. That's fine. We also need to stop uh, doing this random shit with our fleet. Okay, now it would be very nice for this last uh, invasion to have the mechanized available. Let's see if we can do it. Okay, then let's switch motorized to mechanized. Maybe stop producing 1 billion of them. Although we have 1 billion of everything at this point. And meanwhile, I will start planning the naval invasion with my tanks again. Now, Japan, however, may be defending a bit better than uh, our other opponents. On this side, however, the only harbor we can go for is this one. So we really get need to get the Kansai harbor. And this one here. Seems good enough to me. Also, sadly, we will not have the war score because uh, China is taking all of it. So the only thing left to see is uh, if we can disembark with our tanks. Let's go! The invasion of Japan, the last challenge of the game. Will it be a real challenge or not? We'll find out pretty soon. Need to see how many divisions they have defending the mainland. Oh, it's not looking good. Japan, what are you doing? No! No, make it challenging, please. Oh my god. Fuck. What's wrong with the AI in this game in some runs? So stupid. It's unbelievable. And the sad thing about Japan is they don't have uh, much core lander, so they actually capitulate very, very quickly. It's sad because we are really OP, so we would destroy them in any case. It would be fun. If they tried to stop us, at least. But that doesn't seem to be the case in here. They probably have most of their divisions spread uh, around all of these uh, useless islands. Uh, doing useless stuff. Uh, and meanwhile, they completely forgot to defend the mainland. Yeah, no one in Tokyo. That's my guess. Not even one division defending Tokyo. Right? Oh, one division. Great. Okay, uh, Japan is already fucked. Japan is already fucked. And the, the, the other sad, sad thing about this is that we capitulate them so fast that we don't even get war score. So China is going to take everything from this. We, we have no war score. Because they have no divisions that we can kill. So now the question is, do we go for China? Please don't, don't ask me to go for China in the comments, boys. Because that's extremely annoying. I hate it. Don't ask me to do that. Okay, nice. Japan is down and we don't have any war score, so China will take everything. Now, assuming that we want to go for China, which we don't, uh, we absolutely don't want to go for China, but assuming that we want to, which part of Japan do we need to go for China? Probably Korea. From Korea we can plan a naval invasion and then go for China. I will try to get Korea. It's not that bad at, actually because we have a border with Korea so we can uh, we can use Korea to start uh, to start a potential naval invasion even a land invasion from this side if we want to and we really really don't want to as I was uh, as I was mentioning justifying on China would also take uh, well only 90 days okay guys so let me know in the comments uh, if you want me to go for China or not uh, in the next episode of this series otherwise uh, I would say that we can consider this run uh, with the Soviet Union done uh, it was uh, a pretty satisfying run on the side of uh, the Soviet Union being inc incredibly powerful I'm uh, 
Uh, really proud of how powerful we made the Soviet Union. I think the guide is very solid. Uh, a bit disappointing, to be honest, in these last uh, challenges. I didn't expect much for the from the allies, because they are usually disappointing. But I expected a little bit more from the, from the United States. In any case, guys, uh, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, let me know in the comments uh, how you would like me to continue this one. As you know, I'm preparing some uh, new videos for you. So don't forget to check the channel, like the videos, comment a lot, subscribe, all of those uh, very, very important and useful things uh, to make the channel grow, to keep it alive, to, to keep it active, and so on. Thanks again. See you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.